made on my YouTube, but we're going to be talking about this Apple launch, right? So it came out and it started. I don't know if you watched it, Kate, but it was very, very bullish. It just seemed intuitive. Yes, they're big. They are big. They are clunky, but we've got to take this for what it is. I mean, it's the first version of this, right? It's going to adapt as far as time goes. If you look at the first cell phones, they're exactly the same. You know, they still look futuristic at these, but at the time, so did the cell phone. And, and the event was really quite amazing. It showed that when you're wearing it, they actually see through glasses that you can still see around you. So you'll still be able to see your child talking to you, you'll still be able to see your wife and so on and so forth. But then in front of you, you'll also have the information that you want. And they really did a great, um, and I would show you, but if I play the video, I'm definitely going to get a uh, copyright. But they, they they showed you different examples of how it would be used. And it really looked intuitive. It really looked amazing. Mm -hmm. The only negative was when the price was announced. And you heard an audible like shock in the audience, right? So the starting price is three thousand five hundred dollars, which could you could either get ten Louis, ten Apple uh, virtual reality glasses, or one Louis Vuitton trunk. Mm -hmm. You can choose. So it uh, doesn't sound so expensive after our Louis Vuitton um, uh, article, but but there was a notable sort of shock at the price. Now, obviously, a huge amount of technology has gone into this. Um, while the presentation was going on, the Apple stock went up, the Apple share price. Then when the price was announced, you saw the Apple share price drop about 1%. Um, but again, you know, I do think that the, the amount of like literally billions of dollars that have gone into getting to this point, um, you know, they've got to start recovering it. Apple have always been quite expensive. I mean, their cell phones, their, their AirPods, everything is expensive. Yep. And for what you're getting, it's quite amazing. And here's some of the stills from that. You can see the guy sitting in his uh, living room with his fireplace in front of him. That's all real. But then you can also see his icons that he chooses to see. Um, when he's watching, um, you know, he'll be able to watch in panorama mode so that you, it could be a TV that you don't even need a TV in front of you. You can play games on it. Yeah. Um, you'll be able to have uh, meetings with people, whether it be business meetings or personal meetings. Um, but they they really launched it mostly as a, like the way they presented it was a, a lifestyle device, not really a work device. Mm. Um, it was more like at the home, you'll be wearing this um, you know, at the office, you'll be wearing this. This will be right. a normal part of your life. So yep. yeah, man, that's that's my feeling on it. I think it. I think overall, I mean, just to sum up my feeling on it, I think it's really bullish. We're heading in the right direction. Um, this is the first version of it. Um, but I definitely think the concept of being able to have immediate access to things without having to go through a device like your phone or whatever, but to be able to do it in, in instantly in front of you intuitively is definitely the future. Um, are they going to be this big and clunky and are you going to have to wear something all day, you know, in 20 years? Probably not. But this is the first iteration. And, and I, I think this is incredibly bullish for our space in general, for Web3 in general. And, and I think it's great. I think it's really a great innovation. Yeah, I actually made a video on this yesterday. Um, I also, so if you, you should, let me share my screen. There's another, tick, there's a Netflix video I want people to know about because it's basically this. It's on Black Mirror. All right, guys. So if you're, an, if you have Netflix account, go to Black Mirror, go to season three and watch Nosedive. This is literally what's going to happen. Essentially, Instead of having these goggles that are heavy, clunky, only last two hours, they're made of glass, these are clearly going to move into something closer to like eyeglasses or contacts or something. And I can't show it here because Netflix actually doesn't allow it to play when there's any kind of stream or recording going on because of like copyright things. They literally, it'll just be a blank screen. Um, however, you're just looking at people on the street and you'll be able to see their Instagram pop up if they have it public. You'll be like, oh, I know that person's person. Like I, I have like 15 mutuals with this random person in line at Subway. Maybe I should go talk to him and see what they're about real quick. In this scene, there's a scene I wanted to pull up, but I couldn't. There's a scene where she runs into someone in the elevator and knows them, but like can't quite remember who they are. So they quickly just pull out their their like little device thing in their hand and they're like scrolling really quick through their stuff. And they're like, oh, right, they did this last week. They were here. You get like a quick little update instead of just being like, oh, yeah, like how's it going? And so in that sense, I think it could be like, Potentially net positive. I think it definitely I see Crypto Dream saying I would never get these because they would destroy my real life relationships. I think maybe 
they wouldn't destroy it. It would just be one of those things. But like you're on your phone weeks. anyway. You're yeah. lying next to each other in bed, and you both got your phone. You're both catching up. Exactly. You know. Anyway, it's it'll just be, be a, president or not to be president. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, I mean, I do think when you're having supper, you'll take them off. Just like you know, we've got a rule that there's no phones at the table um, and things like that. I, you know, but I don't think it will destroy relationships. It would be the same, dude. I mean, there's no difference between this and the phone. It's just that's more immersive than the phone, you know. And I think in this, I don't know if I need to play this TikTok because it's basically the exact same thing. Oh, he has some of it. Yeah, dude, that's cool as fuck. I don't know why people are saying this isn't cool. It's cool as fuck. It's just cool right bro. now. And when it's convenient, bro, we will and convenience will always, always, always win out. Convenience will always win at the end of the day. There's no way to avoid it. I like easy shit Look sometimes that, to make my life better and easier. And bro, there was a okay. Actually, wait, wait. Uh let me share my screen one more time, Philip, once when that's over. I want to show everyone to a, I want to direct everyone to a podcast that everybody should watch because it has all everything to do with artificial intelligence, the metaverse, and all the things coming up. It is on look, you can still see your kid. Yeah. Um, and you'll be able to choose do you want it to be opaque but I think it's so cool bro it's your TV you won't need an actual TV I mean uh, it's pretty cool yeah. you, and you can make it non-transparent when you can't see through it when you don't want to see other other people and other things you can look through your photos your videos um, you'll be able to just sort of pinch for those on Twitter spaces yeah. he's just sort of moving his fingers in, 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 to control it Um it looks amazing. It looks absolutely it amazing. It does, bro. It, it looks share Kate's also um Kate's screen. before I, before I talk about this, my friends had my friend I forget who it was, but they have a oh, it's Chris Calbunga. So if you guys know Chris or Calbunga on Twitter, he has a pair of sunglasses, normal sunglasses, but they have audio on the backs where they rest on your ears and it plays music down into your ears basically. There's so no headphones and I thought and like that shit is crazy to me. You can also take photos with the glasses and record. So it's literally like futuristic tech and I was just like, bro, these things weigh like nothing. And, was, yeah, 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 it, 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 this. It, 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 you use your fingers, but you can also use eye movements and things like that. And you can train it how to use it. So there's no there's no control for it. It's not like mm -hmm. your cell phone is going to be used. It's not like your watch when you need your cell phone. It's its own device in and of itself, which is quite incredible. Yes, it can sync with your normal accounts, but it's quite amazing, really. Bro, also, think about this shit. You know how gamers were, were losers a few years ago, and now they're the coolest people ever? Dude. Yeah, not to start a whole fucking controversy here, but what this does for the amount of disabled people to put them back, you know, on the board in quotes, um, I think fucking like, bro, people who couldn't who couldn't do but who couldn't do what they wanted to do in the world because the well, the way it's set up right now, like for example, something like stairs being everywhere but not having uh uh like ramps for everywhere. It's like one of those things, like it's not made for a person on a wheelchair. The world's made for like the average person who can walk and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When we get to a world where anyone who can move their eye can now operate in the world just the same as someone who's completely not disabled, bro, the, the levels of everything get fucked completely just thrown out the window. It's going to be an entirely different world. Um, and I'm very excited about that because I think it's a very interesting topic. And uh, TV sales on the sharp decline after the. But Apple it's Apple true, Apple. bro. You don't need a TV, and you got a yeah. movie theater size TV. Easy, it, bro. It's like 100%. it's it's incredible, and I, I have no doubt it's like HD, whatever, whatever you want. I mean, yeah, it it, it really is unbelievable. Yeah, well, you go to my screen. Back to I was going to show the. Yeah, gonna so, guys, uh, this this episode here, obviously, three point three million views, one of his top viewed and a uh, podcast in a while. Also, the first episode with him was their most shared episode ever. So this guy is a beast, Mo Gaudet. He sort of like broke down happiness in a way where no one else could, and so he's a very like reputable person. He used to work at Google. He's like a, he's got a crazy stories. So, if you end up liking this podcast, I I encourage you to like check out his life story. However, he's like an expert. Like the one person you want to be talking about AI and the future of all this shit, this futuristic tech, he goes on there and brings a totally different perspective. I don't know if I agree with his children perspective about, but not bringing people into this world. I don't know if I agree with that, but he got, so, he has some really, really in, uh, interesting points. That I don't think most people would think about because of his experience working uh, in this industry for so long. So if you guys want something to watch some two hour entertainment, definitely don't come here first, come to the joyous kingdom and to Phil's web three show YouTube channel first. And then after that, come out here and watch this video. For sure.
Um, I want to show you a few other things. So, so definitely some negatives about this that we saw was the battery life, which is a negative for everything. That's Apple. Um, and then they say they've got a separate battery pack that that's even more clunky. Mm-hmm. That honestly, you guys aren't going to want to wear. Um, obviously, yep. the price. And the design, I mean, it's not really something in the beginning. It's going to be, like you said, very nerdy before, you know, some level of it comes down and it becomes normal. Um, and yeah, I mean, is the average person out there going to spend three and a half thousand um, dollars on, on this type of thing? I, I, you know, I was the same. Look, I said the same thing when it came to Apple Watch, and I said the same thing when it came to Apple iPad. Why would you need one? And now I have both of those things, numerous uh, iPads around the freaking house, with all the children have and whatever. Mm-hmm. So I definitely think that it's one of that for the future is going to be great. They created their own operating system called Vision OS completely from the ground up, which is a brand new operating system specifically for this. So, mm-hmm. you know, they're not just resting on their laurels and saying we're apple buy this they really yep. are trying to make this something that is going to be incredible um but look it's the first version of it so i think i think we've got to prepare ourselves for you know b- before mass adoption a good couple of models later like we saw with the apple watch it's taken a while and even now there's a lot of people that you know have never even considered wanting to get one you know right. No, it's I'm very, very excited about that. I'm scared about the future, but I'm equally as excited. I see Crypto Dream saying my baby's doing less than a month. Crypto Dream been busy, bro. If anyone's talking shit about Crypto Dream, he's been fucking busy, clearly. All right. So give him give him some slack here. And he disagrees with the baby too. I I'm I'm with that's you. That's why that's why he doesn't need to get the um the Apple Vision Pro because if he had TV, he wouldn't be able to make babies and he would mess up his home life, you know. Um, so if you look here at the Apple Vision Pro, made of aluminium and glass, um, I, it contains 12 cameras, bro, five sensors and a 4K display for each eye. It's adjustable to fit uh, different head sizes. Battery life is what I was saying, two hours, which is really shit. Um, and the headset can be connected to an external power uh, source, uh, but two hours is a joke. I mean, if you're picturing this to be something that you really use all day, um, to yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not great. Um, TV and gaming content will be available, um, and it will be in some exclusive content from Disney as well. Um, completely AR enabled and lets you project through the images onto real spaces, um, and you can record 180 degree video content with the 3D camera inside of it, which would be really cool, almost like a GoPro um, that you'll be able to record it. So yeah, man, I mean, a great story, bro. Very, very good. Yo, check out this stuff.